This is IFV, the web space with your dose of business and financial news. In full view, we're making your business our business. Welcome to In Full View. I'm Marcella Palmer, bringing you the week's medium and small business news. This week, an industrious young woman tells us about her decision to leave a lucrative career in aerospace engineering to follow her passion, music. Dallas Cole is CEO of Rise of the Originals, a new brand of showcases for avant-garde artists. We caught up with her at Bright Night, a networking event in New York City. Aerospace engineering is quite a completely left field from art, but again, while it's fun, it's very interesting. I couldn't see myself doing that for the next 20 years. My aunt and uncle were like, what are you doing? <laughs> it's like, you're not going to have a 401k, no health insurance. What are you doing? I'm living. I'm living. I'm, I'm being young. The name of the company is Rise of the Originals. It's a brand of showcases specifically for original artists, artists who don't fit any particular genre, but they're good at what they do. I'm not looking for people who remind you of someone else. I'm looking for trendsetters, people to usher in the genesis of a new breed and be what rap was to the 80s, I'm looking for that new genre for my generation because we don't yet, we haven't created any real waves, we're still riding the last one. You know, I started out as an artist myself and I'm still an artist, but really it came from a lot of my very talented friends that are just, I don't hear them on the radio. I'm like, why aren't you on the radio? What's happening? And their record labels don't know how to market me, you know, they, they fall to the background, they're writing and I mean writing is fairly lucrative as well, but these are people that love the stage, they love the spotlight, they love to perform. And that's where I would like to see them and they're just not there. And this platform allows them to do that. I really just want to be a platform for them to express themselves without being altered because a lot of record labels will try and alter them and make them fit into one category or another. But if they stay with me, then they can be who they are, they can keep their following, and perhaps we can be the blueprint for the newest genre so that record labels do you know, they, they do show some interest in what we do. And, you know, they're like, you know, we can sign this person. You don't have to be pop or funk or soul or blues or whatever. You'll be this new alternative. I, I don't know what it's called yet. Nobody's coined it yet. We do invite a lot of industry people, a lot of Atlantic Records, Universal, Sony, people who are interested in this type of work. And like I said, sometimes they are interested in signing the artists to larger deals, but the goal is to have them do their own thing without necessarily needing a label because the more the more that this picks up steam the more capital we have to be able to actually promote them on our platform as roto artists so they don't have to go to a larger label they can actually do everything that they need to do right from there and it actually helps them keep most of their profits because everything is in-house cd production studio time everything is done within roto music so they just have to do shows when i do find other acts that I think are amazing and do fit this mold. I put them with other acts like like themselves, which is kind of different. <laughs> you know, they're they're original together. And that helps bring a larger crowd to each act because each act themselves has their own following. So the people that will show up to see, let's say, the rebel ship will also appreciate Dahlia Dumont and Mums and Aurora. These are all people that I feature on my website. Beyond this point, they're all wonderful artists but they do bring their own sort of following so it actually helps increase each act. In five years I hope to be a full-fledged indie label and actually have coined a term to describe these artists to have just been there for the birth of this. I, I don't know what they will call themselves you know I have no idea but I, I hope to be able to lead lead the charge that you know be able to wave our flag like this is what our generation contributed to the music industry this is what we did we're not non-creative but you know this is our voice and, and yeah that's, that's what I think I want go with your gut do it like I quit a six-figure job overseas and said you know what I'm not happy when I wake up every day I love music I love my craft and I want to do what I love to do and so I just quit. <laughs> I quit and came back over here and this is what I'm doing and it's it's taken off more than I ever imagined. Like I, I just knew it was something I wanted to do and I've just been working at it. So just do it. Go with your gut. Go with your initial instinct and if it's something that you love, it sounds so cliche, it really will work off because nobody's going to work harder for your dream than you. That's all for this week from the IFB News team. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to check back every day right here at ifbnews.com 
for the latest on what's happening around the globe in the medium and small business world.